What's up, everyone? So, Pytheon uh, event has gone started a couple yesterday, day before. Uh, can't even remember now. There you go, on the 12th. And lots of videos came out about uh, what's going on, uh, how to how to get this champion. So I actually looked back to the last fragment champion, which was actually Mighty Uko, and very similar structure. They just moved some things around here, but very similar, exact same number of events and tournaments, same point uh, deviation. The only difference was the the champ training event was longer in Mighty Uko than it is here. So you do need to really rush this champ training event. Um, but other than that, everything is virtually the same in a different order. So what do we have here? So we are we're at this point. So from here, what we got is on Friday, our Dungeon Diver event has started. We are still have a Ice Golem event going on. So for those that started uh, ice like me, I started Ice Golem yesterday. was like, oh, yeah, let me, I had some energy. Let me use it and started with Ice Golem and then 400 points. And I realized Dungeon Diver started today, the next day. So here we are. So I just focused on champ training for yesterday and into today. We now have champ chase, which is good with champ trainings because you're able to use those shards, get more chickens, level those up. And then level up your champions so you're able to utilize pull in champions in order to or you might have one in your um in your vault or uh, ready to be summoned that you can finally like i pulled Cro chronum today and uh, started to build him so there you go some champ training points pulled them for champ chase i used uh, about 20 shards got some more chickens got enough points for the first level of champ chase which is the five i could sacrifice not getting those 10 because i'll get them in other places so that's where how my event is going so far the one thing that you'll need to just take an eye and every time this calendar comes out i always take a minute to just look to see where the events are where the uh, critical points are going to be where there's a lot of stuff happening and i try to either do some stuff early or have to wait and to do it a little bit later for example dungeon divers we do have fire nights starting when dungeon divers is happening so you don't need to go all out with ice golem now to finish dungeon divers because you still have fire night to do right so uh, and then you're going to have like a little break here on the Wednesday, which is CVC. And then we're going to be starting Spider on the Thursday where we have another Dungeon Divers starting. So critically looking at that. And then, of course, with Dragon, we have nothing. So you're going to just have to plow through Dragon and you're not going to get any doubled up rewards, which is unfortunate. So this is where CVC is happening and what we have is we're going to be finishing off Fire Knight. So my recommendation is to do Fire Knight right away because you get to double dip the Dungeon Diver points and uh, not necessarily worry about it here. On the Wednesday, Champ Training Tournament starts. Another great place to start getting lots of points for CVC and really focusing on that. I would wait till after CVC on the Thursday when we start spider and then we're into dungeon divers because that's pretty quick artifact enchanting also is happening here which is great because we're getting lots of silver for from spider and then we uh, get to enchant our artifacts as well so lots of good stuff happening next week for this event when we get towards the weekend and finishing spider as we work towards the end as you can see there's really not much going on we have a summon rush that can be done at any point uh, there's no real benefits to wait you could summon rush early because the summon rush is in line this summon rush is in line with this champ training for the same reason over here champ training 
champ training and champ chase, you get to pull shards and then you get to level up your champs. So should you need that, they are there. But what I would look to do is just work out where you plan to get your points. For me, there's easily about 60 points, I think 60 or 70 points that are very easy to obtain without needing to win tournaments. Can't see that. Um, my face is in the way, but uh, tournament leaderboard. So these bonus five points, if you win, you get them. They're not needed. So we have uh, five here. Classic arenas are easy. 10, Fire Knight, 15, easy. Spider, 20, Classic, 25, Dragon, 30. So we got an easy 30 points up here. Artifact enchanting are relatively easy. We have five, 10, Dungeon Divers, 15, 20, and another 25 down here. So we're looking at a 55 points that is very easy to obtain at a bare minimum. You're going to have to work for the remaining uh, 45 points. So where are you going to get your 45 points from? Personally, from me, I'm working on the champ training event. Okay. Once you get that second level, or sorry, that first level of champ training, you need to realize there's only, what is it, 5,500 points, somewhere around there in the 5,000 mark. But the next level is only 3,000 away or less, 2,500 away. 2,500 points is relatively easy to get when you're already at 5,000, okay? So when you get hit that 8,000 mark, if you're going to go for this champ training, which I would recommend, there's 15 points right there, okay? So that 25 is now going to go to 40, all right? And then we don't have to worry about yeah, I probably could use an eraser. We don't have to worry about... Um, we only have to worry about 30 more points. And so where are we going to find our 30 points? We have a champ chase tournament. You pull 20 ancient shards and you pull one legendary out uh, to fuse or a fragment that's just sitting there. There's your first level. And so there is easily five more. That 30 now becomes 35. We only need to find, okay, so there's 75, 25 more points. I'm not pushing champ chase to get those next 10 points, although I could, and then I can avoid summon rush. But typically what they'll do is they'll have probably a 10 times event for this summon rush where I'm going to be pulling shards anyways for. So I might wait for that because right now it's two time ancients. I am just looking ahead that I have another champ training up here. That's going to probably need around 5,000 points is my guess. So we have 8,000 points here in a day. Am I even going to be able to do another 5,000 points? Maybe. But I feel like a champ training is easier to obtain than summon rush where you have to, you know, use all your shards and not have anything anymore. But really, saving shards for these type of events is why you should be saving shards, the way I see it. It's not worth, I don't recall the last time I obtained a legendary 10 times champion. Uh, it may have been one way back when I didn't want the one out of the three, but I got the one probably a year ago now, uh, over a year maybe, but I haven't pulled a 10 times champ lately. Unless you're using you know, hundreds, if not thousands of shards, or you have super good luck, it, it, you know, I no longer chase for them. I, you're better off to go with two times and get more, in this case, more epics, because those epics are actually going to get you some pretty decent points. Like I said, 20 shards got me uh, close to a thousand points. So, or just over a thousand points. You can get luckier and do it in less, but at the end of the day, you know, plan ahead. That's that's kind of what I'm, I'm trying to say here. Champ training will be 10. I still, even if I get 10 extra up here, that's 45, that's 85. I still need 15 points. Even if I pull... the all of this. So where am I going to get 15 points? There's 10 allocated here 
and then I may have to pull the first level of summon rush. There is my last 15 points. So all in all, what does that look like? It looks like you either push hard for multiple tournaments and win to get those bonus points, or you have to do it all. That's what we're saying. Hopefully that helps because if this champion is one that you want, which it should be, you need to be prepared to do every single one of these and obtain probably close to 14, 15,000 champ training points and have a lot of shards in order to pull this champion. The way I see it, I'm going to go for, I'm going to pull a little bit more to get the champ training, sorry, the champ chase at this point to be comfortable. I'd rather have more points early than having to struggle and being forced to come in first place for a certain tournament. I don't want to do that because if I get a Kraken in my group and they're in the same boat that they need those five to get, I'm not going to get it. I could save my shards here. Uh, this is most likely going to be five for summon rush and then the additional 15 at the next level. So all in all, what do we have here? We have our full 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45 here. And then we have our 5, 10, 15, 25, 30, 35, 40, 55 up here and there is our 100 there you have it that is how to look at this calendar look at your resources understand where stress points are going to be there's a lot of stuff happening after cvc next week so next week's going to be a busy week you have cvc which there's not much and hopefully it's not a pr we just had a pr uh, but there's not really much going on during cvc so that's good but right afterwards, we had a lot going on, right? You got Dungeon Divers, Artifact Enchanting, Summon Rush, Spider, and Champ Training virtually all at the same time. So recommendation is to start Dungeon Divers and Champ Training a little early so that you can just focus on other things as they go. So there you have it. Hopefully that helps. Good luck. Pytheon is so far one of the best looking champions free if you put the effort and energy into it. Whereas Duchess, uh, it's it, you got to get lucky to pull one. I'm looking forward to this champ. It's also a force-based champion, which is great uh, to help with survivability. Because most DDs are magic anyways. And there, that's about it. Hopefully you have a great week. Have a great event. Uh, good luck. And uh, we'll see you all in the next video. Take care, everyone.